Welcome to my channel. Learn English with Jasmine. Hi, friends. Today's topic is my village staycation. Listen carefully and then repeat after me. Last week, I had a seven day staycation in a village. It was a very nice and relaxing time. On the first day, I arrived at the village. The air was fresh and the sky was blue. I saw many trees and flowers. The village was quiet and peaceful. I stayed in a small house. The house had a garden with colorful flowers. On the second day, I met the people in the village. They were very kind and friendly. I talked to an old man. He told me stories about the village. I also met some children. We played games together. On the third day, I explored the village. I walked around and saw many interesting things. There were small shops, a school, and a church. I also saw a river. The water was clear and I could see fish swimming. I took many pictures. On the fourth day, I helped on a farm. I learned how to plant vegetables. It was hard work, but fun. I also fed the animals. There were cows, hens, and sheep. On the fifth day, I learned to cook local food. A woman in the village showed me how to make bread and soup. The food was delicious. We ate together and talked. I enjoyed the food very much. On the sixth day, I went for a nature walk. I walked in the forest and saw many birds and butterflies. I felt calm and happy. On the last day, I said goodbye to the village people. They gave me a small gift. It was a handmade basket. I felt sad to leave but also happy to go home. I had a wonderful time in the village. Now, repeat each sentence after me. Last week, I had a seven day staycation in a village. Last week, I had a seven day staycation in a village. It was a very nice and relaxing time. It was a very nice and relaxing time. On the first day, I arrived at the village. On the first day, I arrived at the village. The air was fresh and the sky was blue. The air was fresh and the sky was blue. I saw many trees and flowers. I saw many trees and flowers. The village was quiet and peaceful. The village was quiet and peaceful. I stayed in a small house. I stayed in a small house.
The house had a garden with colorful flowers. The house had a garden with colorful flowers. On the second day, I met the people in the village. On the second day, I met the people in the village. They were very kind and friendly. They were very kind and friendly. I talked to an old man. I talked to an old man. He told me stories about the village. He told me stories about the village. I also met some children. I also met some children. We played games together. We played games together. On the third day, I explored the village. On the third day, I explored the village. I walked around and saw many interesting things. I walked around and saw many interesting things. There were small shops, a school, and a church. There were small shops, a school, and a church. I also saw a river. I also saw a river. The water was clear, and I could see fish swimming. The water was clear, and I could see fish swimming. I took many pictures. I took many pictures. On the fourth day, I helped on a farm. On the fourth day, I helped on a farm. I learned how to plant vegetables. I learned how to plant vegetables. It was hard work, but fun. It was hard work, but fun. I also fed the animals. I also fed the animals. There were cows, hens, and sheep. There were cows, hens, and sheep.
On the fifth day, I learned to cook local food. On the fifth day, I learned to cook local food. A woman in the village showed me how to make bread and soup. A woman in the village showed me how to make bread and soup. The food was delicious. The food was delicious. We ate together and talked. We ate together and talked. I enjoyed the food very much. I enjoyed the food very much. On the sixth day, I went for a nature walk. On the sixth day, I went for a nature walk. I walked in the forest and saw many birds and butterflies. I walked in the forest and saw many birds and butterflies. I felt calm and happy. I felt calm and happy. On the last day, I said goodbye to the village people. On the last day, I said goodbye to the village people. They gave me a small gift. They gave me a small gift. It was a handmade basket. It was a handmade basket. I felt sad to leave, but also happy to go home. I felt sad to leave, but also happy to go home. I had a wonderful time in the village. I had a wonderful time in the village. Now it's time to practice your English. I will give some jumbled words, and you have to arrange them in a proper way to make sentences. First question: In the I met village, the People. Answer. I met the people in the village. Second question. To an I talked old man. Answer. I talked to an old man. Third question. Some also I met children. Answer. I also met some children. 
Fourth question. Local, I learned food to cook. Answer. I learned to cook local food. Fifth question. Was a basket it handmade? Answer. It was a handmade basket. Now let's improve your English vocabulary. Having a good vocabulary makes you a better speaker in English. I will provide you synonyms of some words in the passage. Synonyms are words that have same meanings. Learn and memorize them. First, village, countryside, village, countryside. Second, friend, companion, friend, companion. Third. Quiet, silent. Quiet, silent. Well done, learners. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Comment down below. How many answers were you able to give? If you like the video, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Comment and tell me what topic you want to practice next. Have a good day everyone.